ever since I've been little, the arts have been a huge thing in my family. Um, my mom has made me and all my other siblings, I have two brothers and two sisters, go to art school growing up. And I come from an extensive line of artists th throughout history, basically to like original settlers back in Maryland. And so when I was little, my mom gave me uh, fashion plates to design on. So they're like these little plates with like different um, like shirts and bottoms and you switch them out, kind of Barbie doll looking, and then you like put paper over them and you trace over them and you make like little designs that way. So I was doing that and I got like tons of Barbie dolls and makeup. I was a super duper girly girl. Um, and my mom and my sister were both models growing up too. And I, I grew up in Virginia, Beach, Virginia, so a little bit of Southern charm in there. I was going to charm school. I was going to etiquette school. I'm a minister's daughter, so it was heels and dresses and makeup and make sure you look pretty before you walk out the door. So there was such a focus on image and appearance. And um, at the same time, my mom was like putting us like through dance classes too. So I had that, so I had a very, um, keen sense on like physical form and the body and art. And for me, that just translated like wearable art. Like everything I wanted to do is just like, it's everything's aesthetic and visual for me. So it's like, how do I make this person beautiful? You know, makeover story. It's really cool for me. Um, and you can be a chameleon, you can change the look a million different ways. So I'm always inspired by that. It's creative, it's fun. You can be everything you want. And especially in modeling too, you can change your look a thousand times. Yeah, um, I think ever since I was little, it was just put into my brain. Like I was made to go to art school. There were no questions about it. If I even wanted to get, out, I went out to, I went to normal school, and then I placed into this gifted and talented program where I had to go to this other school simultaneously, while I was going to this school for a good five years or something. And even though it got to be like so much work at times, my mom was like, "No, stay with it, stay with it," because it's just it was like part of our heritage. We we have to go to art school, and it was crazy because it was like business was never pushed in my family, and I'm like thinking, "Well, I don't want to be the starving artist." Like, okay, go to art school and then go get a degree in art, and then in my mind, I was like, yeah, I still want to make money and I want to make a living, but you have this creative spirit inside of you where it kind of drives you to be more entrepreneurial. And so you want to understand that business. And I think that's why I really did go into uh, finance so I could explore, you know, how things worked and explore how to make myself stable. Most challenging, uh, being inspired, um, having new inspiration, coming up with different ideas um, that people haven't thought of or making them better and marketing yourself so that you can have people really notice it and want to buy it. I love being creative. I think without creativity, I don't feel like you have life. I think you, you're either growing or you're dying. And I think when you know, you can be constantly inspired by your environment to, it's like inventing, it's reinventing yourself, it's reinventing the environment. Um, you know, I like to incorporate uh, function into fashion too. I like to make things that are um, multifunctional so you can use it for all different uses. A modern day woman, um, she goes throughout her day, she's going to work, she's dressing up, she's going to the gym, and I like transitional pieces. I like the pieces that are um, contemporary so a woman can go throughout her day without putting a lot of thought process into things and still look really high fashion, really chic, really classic, sexy, sophisticated. Um, and that's where I get a lot of um, gratification. Like I, I really enjoy doing that sort of thing, helping other people in that respect, making their lives easier because I know in my own life I, I've done finance for 12 years as well. So I've done finance and then I've done fashion designer, uh, fashion design. And knowing that you have like a super busy life and you're being very active and very social, you want something that goes along with your lifestyle that's pretty seamless. So you don't really have to think about it, but you're always looking your best when you're in front of people. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.